everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Anna and today we're going to be doing a video that has actually been requested by you guys and that is how I outline my book so I'm actually going to show you everything including how I write my book as well so I do have my computer right on that side which I will also show you but until then we need to find a book so what to write. We need to find a book as to what I'm going to write about. There we go. Well, let's get going. So, the first thing... So, the first thing I do is I usually come up with the plot. So, I would just write pro, you know, as the short version of problem. So, what should we write about? Hmm. Why not? Let's say long ago... There was an ancient evil that destroyed the land. A powerful, oh uh, no, actually, an honor to defeat it. One must be powerful enough to destroy it. I can't spell today. To destroy it, even if it means succumbing to its power. Actually, in order to be sealed, I think, would be better. Century later, that same evil is being threatened to rise again. Must arise to defeat it. Otherwise, no, <laughs> I cannot make up my mind. Or, um, to have the same fate as before. Cool. So, we got my. Problem. It's a little bit messy, but that's okay. We're gonna fix. We're gonna fix it eventually. So I don't care how it is. We just got the general point of the book. So now the title. Um, I really thought of this when I was going outside. I literally just came back, so that's why I'm all dressed up. So we're gonna name this Sword of Ash and Bone. Cool. So. That's my total. Uh, my total. That's my title. So now we're just gonna go with chapter one. Or in this case, maybe a prologue would be better in this case. <laughs> Found my right out. Okay. So prologue. So this is where I'm jotting down the ideas, what's gonna happen in the prologue. So. When that means I'm gonna go back in time because we have said long ago. So I'm gonna go back in time and show what happened at that long ago time, if that makes sense. So let's say, oh, uh, let me think. So this guy, I always have an underlying, just because I can't think of a, of a name right now, I always like to research the names and see like the meanings behind it. So my, I do choose my names very carefully just because I like to have meanings behind them. So, yeah, so it's always a fun thing to do. That being said, we have an underline because I'm not sure what what's name is going to be about. So, let's say that this person... Uh, had sensed 
the evil and has been broken loose. So now that he will has to go and defeat it. But then things happen and that hero is no more. Or so we think. Dun dun dun. <laughs> um, anyway, spoilers. <laughs> so now that hero... Okay, so we got a prologue, so now we go to chapter 1, and this is where we're gonna meet our newbie <laughs> for this story. And that's basically it, so I just go chapter by chapter and then I outline what, uh, what I have and all that stuff, so. That was thunder, by the way, if you can hear it, that was thunder, because <laughs> it's kind of gloomy out. We have rain, we have wind, and all that stuff. So now, chapter one, we're gonna have. So, again, I don't know what the person's gonna be called. So, we're gonna have a blank underline, a toy search. It's most likely gonna be a male character. I kinda see it, see the story following a male character than a female. So, that's also another thing you kinda have to play around with is to figure out if you want a male character or a female character. So, you will eventually know um, what you want as you go throughout your story, so don't, I want to really worry too much about that until you actually write the book. And then, as always, you can go back and change, as always, so, I wouldn't really, but for now when you're planning, I wouldn't really worry about it too much. Uh, so now, for chapter one, um, let's say the guy over here is the council talking about the evil that happened long ago. And we're gonna see that the guy can't go into the council because he's not qualified, if you will. He's not qualified to be there just yet. I don't want to see too young, but that could also be one of the reasons. But let's just see he's not qualified to be there. And talking about the evil that happened long ago. And then intrigued. Intrigued, sorry. <laughs> intrigued. He decided to do something that he shouldn't be doing because he's naughty. So right there you automatically know what kind of character he will be. Because I said he decided to go against them, as as in something he's doing, but something he knows he shouldn't be doing, but he does it anyways because he can be in trouble. So right there, you already know he's gonna be a rebel. So that's a good thing. Your, your readers will know he's gonna be a rebel, just because of chapter one. So intrigued, he decided to go to the one place. Where he knows he will get information. He went. I'm gonna shake this up. So instead of going to the library, he is going to the underground tunnels. Dun dun dun. And shit happens. I mean, things happen. Sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to swear. <laughs> he went to the infamous underground tunnels yeah yeah that's okay yeah because we already know okay actually
to study the drawings from so long ago. Are you ready for the typical thing? Only to be caught. That is the most typical thing you will ever find in a YA fantasy. There's always that only to be caught dilemma. Always. That's never gonna change. But I could be proven wrong, so... Yeah. Chapter. So now we're going to chapter 2 and we're just gonna basically continue to go from here. So I'm just... I might actually fill up this chap up to chap five chapters, so then we actually have something to go on before we hit the keyboard. So I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, I got some chapters in. I actually had only four chapters. I'm still thinking about chapter five as to what's gonna happen. So for now, that's what we're gonna work on. So let's head on to our laptop and start writing a word document and also I do want to mention like um hang on so keep in mind just because we have all these outlined like this keep in mind that this can change whatever you wrote here it can change so always keep that in mind as you're writing so now we're just gonna go to page layout page setup uh, we're gonna put, so we went to layout, and then vertical alignment, center, and in here, so it is recommended to have like Times New Roman, Arial, things like that, just so it is easy on the eyes and nothing too crazy is happening, so that's why they always recommend those kind of styles. But I find myself really liking Bookman old style, to me in it is still easy to read, and nothing is too crazy is going on. This is what I had used in my sequel of my Firewave trilogy. I find it really easy to use and not so hard on the eyes. So we're probably going to stick with the same font. Um, so even if I write more books in the future, I'm not sure if my font will change. I'm hoping it won't because I really like this font. So... And now because it's a title, I'm just changing the point size to 14. I'm going to bold it in capital letters. We're going to put sword of ash and bone. And then for this guy, I'm going to lower it back to maybe 11 point. And here's going to write your name by a standing image, which is me. So now we're gonna make a new page. So go back to page layout, and then go in the same page setup. You're gonna click on breaks, and then next page. And this is where your copyright section is gonna be. Oh, and you also wanna change that center to normal. So back to setup, and then from here, you're gonna to go top and apply this section on this point forward, actually, so that. It will only affect this, and as you write, it won't change anything. This will always stay the same. So, which is what you want. And then you're just going to hit this guy. And then this is your copyright um, section is going to be. It's, your copyright is like saying that you own the rights to your book. And no one can, you know, plagiarize or, think, you know, things like that. So how that looks like is let's go to my sequel for my fire buns so this is what you'll find i hope you can see i'm gonna zoom in so this is what you'll find in every book that you see um you gotta have all this disclaimer and all that saying that it's fiction and anything that is similar is not is you know is coincidental so you didn't you didn't do it on purpose and not intended by the author as it says here and the copyright 2020 and then the name of your book and this is where your ISBN goes to 
just edit all of this, all rights reserved. So you just say that you cannot make a copy of it, you cannot, you know, electronic photocopying or anything like that. You can only do it without permi with permission from the author. So, or the publisher, depending who you're working with. So, yeah, that's basically it. And it's really important to have a new ISBN just because you write a new book, so I do recommend having a new ISBN each time you write a new book. So, I don't know how it is in America, but in Canada you can get free ISBN if you sign up, which I will also show you how to do it. But, that is how we do it in Canada. I don't know how it is for America. I am not American, so I am, I am Canadian, so things are different. And then we go back to the next page. And then here is like an epigraph, if you remember. Okay, so then this page will be who you are devoting it to. So whether your fans, your parents, your, you know, anyone, aunts, uncle, so on and so forth. I'm going to put in italics, my fans. <laughs> I love you guys. Okay, so next page. Then this is, is what you will call a napping graph. A napping graph is like a quote, you know, that you would find in books or some, or some sort. So, this is what I put for my sequel. For now, I'm going to skip this because I don't know what's going to be. So now we're just gonna write. Okay, so then we can go here and then top this point forward and then make it 14, chapter 1, and then you write. And here you just save as and then you can put any kind. Like Project Fire is what I put for my finale when I was writing it. And then for this one, we can just put, like, you know, if you don't, if you don't want to show your title and you want to keep it secret, just put Project Bones. And then save where you're going to save. And this is where you begin writing. So let's start writing. Okay guys, so once I finish writing the story, I usually just check it off, just like that. So, yeah, so that's my outline and how I write my book. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my process and how I do it for my every book. There is still a lot of research as to how, how I plan my character's background and all of that, but I, right now I just want to show how I outline my books and all that, so if you like this please like, comment, and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I post, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!